Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that control all of the earth, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on my channel I bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days, the time when the accuser, the devil, is cast out of heaven and then the great tribulation begins all across the earth. Well today on January, or excuse me, on February 1st, 2014, we have this new Google Doodle. And I've shown for the last few years now that they show the same event coming in these Google Doodles repetitively. The end of the age coming, the rapture, and then the day that the devil is cast down to earth to deceive the whole world. Well, today's Google Doodle is of Harriet Tubman, and she is a renowned hero from during the time of the Civil War and the Underground Railroad that was going on during that time. Now today also, February 1st and February 2nd, February 2nd is Groundhog Day and we have the Super Bowl that day. We don't know if anything will happen on that particular day and it is very normal for us in our human bodies to want to know a date. Well today we don't, we don't know a date. We're going to show this symbolism though. Today is known is what is known as Candle Ma's Day. It's an old Wiccan holiday known as Embalak, and it's also a Catholic holiday known as like the Day of Lights, the Day of the Candles, and lighting the candles, symbolic of when Jesus Christ on the 2nd of February was presented after 40 days of his birth, the day when firstborns are presented to the temple. This was all done in the Bible for the second. So you can see that there's an awful lot of things surrounding these two days that most people just take as an ordinary day for a groundhog for some reason. In reality there's an awful lot of things going on these next two days in this symbolism all around us. Well let's show here about Harriet Tubman. Tubman is, this woman was a hero. I mean for this woman almost makes me cry. As, as tough as she was and as the things that she accomplished, she went 19 times. She went down south and ran the railroad and brought out many, many different people through there. She passed away in 1913 right here. Now one of her other names was Moses right here. This is showing the rapture coming and all of us leaving. I keep trying to show everybody that all of this is a synchronized event, that for the devil to be cast down, Jesus has to take us up, his wise virgins, as they call it, at that point in time, which is through scripture. And this is the birth. She is representing the woman with 12 stars on her head, ready to give birth right now to all of us and to our immortal bodies. It's right here in Revelation 12. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. See all the stars on, on Harriet's head right here? And she, being with child, cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. She brings forth this man-child that will rule the world by a rod of iron. We are that child. We are the body of Christ. Christ is the head and we are the body. We are, this is us being born into our new immortal bodies. And then she is taken away from the face of the serpent, from when the dragon is cast down. See the dragon? And when the dragon saw that he was cast into the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man-child. And to the woman, oops, excuse me, and to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time from the face of the serpent. This is when the devil is cast down. We're going to show all this right here in this little Google Doodle. Right here. She was even named Moses for leading the Exodus. The same thing that Moses did as he left the Exodus. 
and she was named or nicknamed Moses. Well, let's show some of this here. This is one of her great sayings. I like this one. I freed a thousand slaves, but I could have freed a thousand more if only they knew they were slaves. This is the same plight of many Christians. We go around all the time trying to wake people up. Well, it's not destiny for us to wake everybody up. That's just the way that it is. Here's her other saying, go free or die. This woman was about leading the exodus out of prison, getting us out of here. Well, let's show this. Here she is right here. She's bringing the lamp. She have the 12 stars over her head. Here is the trumpet. This is how this works. This is the trumpet right here, ready to go at the time of the light. She is coming to get and give birth to the wise virgins and the foolish virgins have to go and become tribulation saints and they are born basically through the great tribulation. There's the trumpet for us to go and I keep showing that the oil for the wise virgins is blue. Here is the oil for the wise virgins. This is the birth coming. Here's the trumpet Here's the oil right there in front of us. And now we are nearing what is known as the fifth age, like a big V, like for the visitation or the visitors. In the Bible, it is when the Great Tribulation happens and the DNA of humanity is blended with something. You see right here where this looks like one alien eye? And you can see right above her the V for the mark of the beast coming, for the visitors, for the visitation, for the fifth age. So all of that is right there. We have Moses leaving on the Exodus with the trumpet, has the bottle of oil for the wise virgins, and here come the aliens, and it's all right in front of us on Candle Moss, the day of the candles and the day before Groundhog's Day. Now, I don't know about dates, but this is New York, New Jersey. This is the Super Bowl Stadium, right here. Right here, MetLife Stadium. Do you see how the stadium is actually in the shape of a hawk or an eagle right here? There's never been a Super Bowl here before, and we have the Seahawks versus the Broncos. Um, yesterday was the beginning of the Chinese New Year. This is known as the Year of the Horse. We have the Broncos versus the Seahawks. Look at this. This is all predicted. We don't know about a day or an hour, and we keep showing the whole earth is controlled by the spiritual realms. There's the wings of the eagle. There's Moses coming. <laughs> it's right in front of us. Dear Lord God. Here's the trumpet. She has the lamp to call us out. Here is the oil for the wise virgins. And here's the ET coming. This is what I've been showing on my channel for years. The same situation over and over again. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. The trumpet goes. The wise virgins leave with the blue oil. And then we have the E.T. coming right here, just as we keep showing all the time. Thank you very much, everybody. May the Lord Jesus Christ have mercy on us all. Call out to him and have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and get your name written in his book of remembrance so that you can be considered a wise virgin and can be taken away from the great temptation and tribulation that's coming. There's the trumpet. Thank you very much, everybody. Hallelujah.